Planet Dolan. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. You know that thing you're about to put in your mouth? Not that. The food thing. Well, what is it? Are you sure? What's the hidden truth behind our food? It's creepy food facts you'll wish you did not know. Very fishy seafood. Seafood labeling is about as trustworthy as $5 all-you-can-eat sushi. One investigation found that in LA, a whopping 55% of seafood was not exactly what it was supposed to be. A lot of the mislabeling has to do with weight, but there are some very worrying possibilities. The popular podcast, This American Life, ran a story about how it's possible squid rings were actually made out of a pig's anus. To be fair, if it was an aquatic pig, then technically it would still be seafood? Carbon Monoxide Meat Mankind eats a lot of meat, and now that most of us don't hunt on our own, we have to pick the best looking hunks from the supermarket. And one of the ways that supermarket keep meat looking red and rosy is by filling the packet with carbon monoxide. Yeah, the deadly gas that you have an alarm in your house for. This blast the CO keeps it looking red even when it's gone bad. Pink bug juice. If we like our food and drink to look exactly how we expect it to, even if that doesn't reflect its real ingredients. For example, real mayonnaise is made from egg yolk, so it should be yellow. Pink grapefruit juice is sometimes given an added boost of pinkness with a color additive called carmine. The thing is, carmine is made by grinding up a bug called cochineal. And not like a few fell in the machine. They are the main ingredient. <laughs> candy crust. Many types of candy, like the jelly bean, have a lustrous shiny cover on the outside like a varnish. But this isn't made from sugar, it's a substance called shellac. This is also used to make turntable records and a coating on furniture. And shellac is actually a secretion of the female lac bug, which is where you get the term lacquer from. These Asian bugs eat tree bark and then spew out a resin. It's lovely. Welcome. To Jurassic Park. Almost all of the water that you drink has been peed out by a dinosaur. There's a lot of water on the planet, and that water is constantly being recycled. If you took all the water in the world, you could make a sphere about 860 miles across. But dinosaurs were around for about 200 million years, so there was enough time for the water cycle to bring almost every water molecule around to the mouths and then exits of our dining friends. You can't escape the golden truth. One of the last things you want to be thinking about when you tuck into a bowl of strawberry ice cream is a beaver's anus not something you really want to be thinking about other times as well. The strawberry and raspberry flavoring can contain castorium. This comes from beavers, use it to mark the territory, and it smells a little like vanilla. Its use is less common in foods now, and it's expensive, but it's still used occasionally, and perfumeries love it. So if you're in the forest and you think you smell cake, you are about to be ambushed by a horny beaver. Vegetarian Salmonella Hundreds and thousands of people are admitted to hospital every year with Salmonella, and we typically associate this kind of food poisoning with animal products. But even the most hyper level 10 vegan dieter is not safe. Watermelon, fruit juice, carrots, pecan nuts, nothing safe. The main reason is that animal droppings can get into all of these. Worst of all are the alfalfa sprouts, since they harbor more warm moisture than a gym bag. Many of you will either be lucky enough or smart enough to never have to eat kasumazu, or formagyo masio. It's a traditional food from Sardinia. Someone decided that it wasn't weird enough that we take animal milk and let it grow hard and sour, they had to make it worse. This cheese adds fly lava to really go up a few gears on the rotting process. 
You are basically eating cheese that they have already eaten. You may want to go have a shower now. Extra ingredients. Deep down, we all know that fast food is pretty gross. However, if you're going to be gross and disgusting, we want it to be the gross and disgusting we chose. Sadly though, you eat about 12 pubic hairs a year in your fast food. Although it could be worse, a Nebraska family won 40,000 bucks in 2008 when an employee's spit and urine were found in their KFC, which left their son violently ill. A New Zealand woman suffered cardiac arrhythmia and the coroner put it down as an overdose on Coca-Cola. By 30 years old, she was drinking over 8 litres of it a day. Just your recommended fluid intake is 2 litres per day, so obviously, she was going a little overboard. In today's world, we like to know what's going on in our mouths, even with something like pizza. Cowabunga. It's hardly a health food. Papa John's Pizza has the tagline, Better Ingredients. Better pizza. But when people wanted to know exactly what it was that made them better, they basically gave everyone the middle finger. Thanks, Papa John, you're great. <laughs> Baking can be pretty boring. You have to read a recipe, measure everything out, mix till your arms fall off, and then wait for the stupid thing to cook. However, if you want to spice things up a little, then all you need is a hefty bag of nutmeg. Nutmeg is a hallucinogenic in large doses, but before you go sniffing the bubble, it's also perfectly bad for you, leading to vomiting, seizures, and heart attacks. Pineapple is the only fruit that tries to eat your back. The sweet tropical fruit is thought to be the only natural source of bromelian, a flesh-eating enzyme, and this is why it often hurts your mouth and lips when you eat it. So be very suspicious of anyone carrying a large haul of pineapples. Well. You'd probably be suspicious of them anyway, even without that information, actually. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why spicy things are spicy? What exactly are they doing in your face that gives you that mixture of pleasure and pain? The active ingredient of spicy heat is capsaicin, and it activates the pain receptors in your mouth because your brain thinks you are actually burning yourself. The reason some people get a euphoric rush from capsaicin is that you release endorphins to deal with the pain. <laughs> If you're trying to conceive a child, then, well, first while you're watching the video, get back to work, but you also need to think about your diet, especially if you're a man. Bacon may go fabulously with eggs, but it is terrible for your sperm, having been proven to lower your count. It's likely not helping with the baby making part either, thanks to all the sodium and cholesterol. So guys, what's the creepiest thing you've ever found out about food? Let us know in the comment section down below and we will pin our favourite to the top. That is it for this countdown, have a good one! Planet stolen.